Today on the 205 Vive, we are at Froberg Elementary School, one of my favorite schools in the district. We are here with a fantastic principal, Christina Alfords, because AWIM, a world in motion, is in the building. It's when the UTC aerospace engineers come out and do these fantastic projects with the kids. I think it's going to be exciting. Let's go in and take a look. for uh, UTC Aerospace Systems. Uh, it's a company in town. There are several plants uh, located in town and they're dedicated to uh, aerospace. They provide me an opportunity to come into schools and volunteer and try to help uh, help the schools and uh, program with a world in motion. It's a curriculum put together by SAE. My company gives me an opportunity to come in and volunteer for schools and it's, it's something that I, I just like giving back to the community, giving back to schools, helping kids understand what I do as an engineer and show them that the engineering methods, maybe not all of them become engineers, but they can use it in any, any field that they ever go into. I think AWIM is just an excellent experience for kids to get hands-on learning. And they get to apply everything that they're learning and use engineering concepts, science, and just put all that STEM together awesome. in the classroom. So you had the AWIM volunteers uh, in your classroom today. Tell us a little bit about that partnership and why you think it's important. I think it's important because the people that are in my classroom today are, are engineers. They really do make parts of airplanes and they come and they share that with the children. And they show, share with the children also how they think and showing them that they too can grow up and become engineers just through the things that children do naturally, like discovery. And so the, for that reason, I think this is an excellent partnership. Why do you volunteer your time and, and, and do what you do? Um, I've always, well I've been doing this probably five, six years now and I think it's really important to get um, especially children, you know, elementary kids involved in science and math and teach them that it's, it's actually in the world around us, right? So you see it everywhere and that science and math is really fun because generally those are some of the subjects that a lot of people don't like. Um, but if they get an application they can use it for, I think that they get more engaged and, and thus can learn better. To see the kids, you know, you see that spark where they like figure something out and, and you've helped them figure that out, it's really cool. So I just wanted to give back a bit. I've been doing AWIM since I think about 2007. Uh, we started with Swan Hillman. Uh, we transitioned into like Barber Language Academy. We did a few years. Uh, we've done Cherry Valley. We've been out there with the Jet Toy Challenge. Uh, we piloted the uh, Engineering Inspired by Nature in Washington. And now we've done Froberg now for, f well, this is our fifth year. And one of the things in second grade we struggle with so much is having them ask questions about their environment and about the world and having them come in and give them these little things and say what do you think this is and having the kids just start to explain well this is what I think it is and then they have to tell them why so having a, an outside person come in and say the very same things that we as teachers say really kind of solidifies that teaching that we're doing in the classroom. All of the AWIM curriculum is very hands-on, so every single class they're building or they're testing or they're doing something that's hands-on. We have these you know, little packaged hands-on materials to do and uh, it really gets the kids moving. How would you describe the vibe today in Froberg? Uh, I'd say it was a really good vibe. Uh, the kids are always really excited for us to come in and they're really happy. Um, and you can see that they're, they're eager, to, eager to learn when they're on task. So Miss Jag does a really good job of keeping them on task and then it helps with the learning. So yeah, I'd say they're pretty pumped. We as teachers and the staff here at this school, we support each other, we mentor each other, we help each other out. We try to share this also with the students in the classroom. I've seen the excitement of uh, the kids and the teachers with uh, even with the AWIN program, but it seems like Everybody seems very, very electrified by the fact that Rockford schools are getting a lot better and I've seen it and it's just beautiful that it, it is getting so much better. My kids are in Rockford 205 and, and I enjoy taking them to school now. 
these kids inspire, inspire me every single day. They're the reason I'm here. And if I can add to their life and make it better and just create learners and citizens, that's what I do.